Hey there everybody, how's it going? It's Bronson from Fretz RV here in Sarrington, Pennsylvania. Excited to show you another product here from Pleasure Way. We're looking at the Plateau FL. I've done a review on the Plateau TS before, just slightly different floor plan. So I'll bring you this one. FL, a little more of a front living oriented coach. So I'll show you the inside, the outside, show you all the features. Starting outside, we're of course on the Mercedes chassis. So we're gonna have that diesel engine, all the safety features like the lane keeping assist, the brake assist, the tension assist, blind spot monitoring, big nice smart touchscreen on the inside, which I'll show you what's all on there. Coming around the side, you see we've got the nice aluminum wheels. Gray white is the exterior color for this one. You do have a power awning up on the top, an LED strip, a porch light up there. Over here, you also have your fresh water tank fill up. A couple outlets for hanging out underneath your awning. You can plug some things in. You've got the dual wheel and tire set up on the back. Coming around the back end, you do have a backup camera placed on the top. You are set up for hitch work down below if you want to do any towing, seven way plug. Open up the back doors here so you can get a peek of what your storage looks like underneath your sofa. 30 amp power cord. Got space under here for maybe a couple duffel bags, some other goodies that you might want to bring them along. You can stuff them down into here. You do, of course, have two seat belts which will route up underneath for your passengers that are seating. On the back, you do have a nice big roll down screen. That's what's being held up by the clips on the top. So you can roll that down, get your privacy for the back. Or if it's a nice breezy day, let some of the air in, keep the bugs out. Down below, you can see you've got your lithium battery box. You do have 200 amp hours of lithium batteries on board that come standard on these Pleasure Way products. This one is also optioned out with the 200 watts of solar on the roof. You can get up to 300 watts if you like for trickle charging those lithium batteries. and keeping yourself nice and charged up. Down below, I don't want to miss, you do have an outside quick connect for propane. If you wanted to bring an outdoor grill, you could hook it up right there. You do have a generator on board. That's where that exhaust is coming out down there below. So if you are boondocking and want to run your major appliances like the air conditioner, uh, you will need the generator on, but it does have automatic generator start, which is a nice feature. Coming along the back side, you'll have your Truma uh, AquaGo system. You've got the Truma exhaust for your heater you've got a utility center i'll open this up down here so you can see you've got your city water hookup your propane on and off switch a cable tv and a 30 amp hookup you've also got an outdoor shower and just down below there is a valve that sticks off for your black and gray tanks being able to empty those out nice tinted windows that come along the side really sleek look on here you can see the sensors down below on the front chassis. I've got it running right now. It's quite quiet. I'll open up the door. This does have an automatic sliding door, but we've disabled it just because we don't like folks to mess around with it. So I'll push this open. But if you try it yourself with it enabled, you can. Uh, the door will open up for you. Looking up right away, you've got another screen door for the side. It's got a built in magnet on the side so that you can just walk right in and out instead of to have it zip up and down each time so you can swing that screen door down. I'll step up on the inside so we can get a good look at everything here first. It's got the graphite interior color with the white chocolate radius cabinets up above. Coming back, you've got the rear sofa, TV area, some storage. Don't worry, I'll be sure to give you the full runaround of all this. And up in the front, you do have two swivel seats. This FL model has more space up in the front, so you've got like a little desktop working area if you swivel this all the way around a little tv there's even a mount for your table if you don't want it to be back there you can swing it up in the front and have a front living space here i'll start with the main screen up front you got a battery disconnect switch and you can adjust your climate control from here check your power level start your generator uh, do some quick lighting or that on the main screen here you can turn your master light switch on uh, this is again another power screen. You can see how much time you have remaining on your batteries if you're just running off those. Turn your generator on and off. Just more power settings. And then of course your sofa extend and retract, your awning. And put your fan up above. Open and close it and start that if you like. Right from here. And there's a second screen towards the back which I'll show you. Nice Corian countertops. 
stainless steel sink on board. Got the shower, or not the shower head, the sink head with the detachable nozzle. This has the induction cooktop, so run right off the electric. Nice amount of storage bins, four drawers. Some more cabinets that open up on the side. I'll open one of these up so you can get an idea what you're working with with space. Soft closing. Down below here, you've got some more storage. And up above that, there is LED lighting. As you can see throughout, I've turned them all on on the inside. Really makes the colors pop in here. You can get an idea of what the storage is like in here. This one's a little smaller because it houses your inverter that you can turn on and off. And you've got pretty much these bins all wrapped around the top here. Roof mounted AC. Here's that rear sofa, a little bit of extra seating on the side with your lagoon table. This is really nice because you're sitting down, you can bring it around, twist it, turn it to whatever configuration you like. And when you're ready for bed, it just pops out of place and you can put your two slabs in the middle and make a nice big bed back here or even use it as a twin bed and leave an opening in the middle if you like. I'll show you what a picture, uh, or I'll throw up a picture of a, what this bed looks like in the actual made position. Awning style windows, so you'll rotate that. The windows will flip up on either side. And coming towards the back, you do have some USB ports down below, some 110 outlets over there, and even more USB tucked down under. Nice sound bar with your TV on the back here, and there's that other screen, so you don't have to keep running up to the front if you want to adjust your climate control or turn on any lights. You can just do it right from the back section. Nice big storage space in here. Got some hanging space. Throw any of your goodies in there. You got a Blu-ray disc player up above that. You got a nice microwave that's up, up top here. You can throw your goodies in there. Grab them right out of your fridge. So you've got a couple shelves here on the side, some shelves down the middle, and then a freezer up above. There are some more outlets down below here, a spot for your heat to come out. Let's check out your wet bath. Slightly smaller than the TS since you are cut off, uh, at least getting cut off by the front living section, but you do have your cabinet with a mirror, shower head, sink, and a toilet. There's a curtain as well that comes across. Down below your front section, you do have some more storage bins. I'll pop both of those open and be able to store some belongings down in there. As I said, two TVs on board, so if you want to sit up in the front, watch some TV, you don't want to distract anybody that's maybe sleeping on the back, you can hang out up here, maybe bring your laptop out, get some work done, plug it into the provided USB 110 outlets that are set up back here for you. I want to show you the uh, shades for the windows. They just come down. It's the same for all the windows. Well, they'll stay down if you don't pull them down all the way like me. So you can bring them down like that. They'll do your privacy for night. and. Uh, I'll swing right back up again that goes around except for the back that has the uh, that blackout screen that comes down you get a five-year warranty on pleasure way products it's one of the longest warranties going they really stand behind their product let me not forget this storage bin up here you've got the wine guard antenna set up there your front seats mercedes seats they are very comfortable You've got heated seats back here, power controls for those. There's a nice big touch screen I was speaking about. You can come on here and uh, you'll be able to pull up your, your cameras. You can pull up your navigation. Um, many features that you can do on this screen. If you go to the home page, a bunch of scrolling, you can even talk to the chassis and say, hey, Mercedes, and um, stuff will start popping up if you have it enabled. Climate controls and your nice leather wrapped steering wheel. Adaptive cruise control on board plenty of cup holders and got the AC running right now it's a warm day and you've got pleasure way assistant when you buy from them you get an assistant for 90 days that you can call up and ask any questions that you might need some help on so this is the 2021 pleasure way plateau FL here at Fretz RV of Southerton Pennsylvania my name is Bronson if you have any questions feel free to reach out in the comments I'll try my best to get back to you be sure to subscribe, uh, keep up with my further content, Sh drop a like if you enjoyed, let me know, 
and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much.